Hi you guys, thank you for coming by to watch this video. Today I want to talk about the Star Sea mission here. Okay, so before I go on with this video, I do want to give a fair warning that this video is going to contain some information that is going to upset people's illusion, delusion, whatever you want to call it, that we are here to raise the vibratory rate of this planet, um, make this world a better place, and help the planet be better, and things like that. And then there's also some other disclosure statements I would like to make before I go on with this video. So, it turns out all deities exist from all pantheons, the ancient Greeks, Egyptians, Celtic, Native American, Native ancient Hawaiian, Aztec, Mayan, In Incan, all of the deities exist. Okay? Every single one of them. Now, I'm also going to say that Satan and Lucifer are not the same thing. They're not the same being. Lucifer is a dark fae, which, you know, dark fae are actually former demons turned into fae after they are have redeemed themselves enough to no longer be demons. But they also have some demonic tendencies, like a little bit of aggressiveness, maybe some a little bit of too much of a high libido and a little bit lustful kind of thing. Um, but they're not demonic, so to speak. And then eventually, when all demonic tendencies are gone, the dark fae can become light fae. Blah, blah, blah. So, Satan, however, on the other hand, is the said devil that people are absolutely should be afraid of and to run away from because Satan is terrifying. He is the king of the, he's the king of demons. He is the one that you do not want to affiliate with whatsoever. Now, with that out of the way, one of my missions here is to dispel the myth that star seeds are here to help make this planet a better place. It goes in the star seed community that we are here as volunteers to do things like raise the vibratory rate just by being who you are, um, teach about unconditional love, to do things like challenge the current system and things like that. I hate to be the bearer of bad news to these people, but that is not why we are here. We are here because we were lied to by the very same planet we believe we are here to help. Now, for some interesting co connection here, um, so it is said that starseeds have been coming and going ever since the dawn of civilization and that's true star seeds have been coming and going ever since this mankind came to be now and before but that's a whole different ball game a whole different thing so it turns out that the conscience of this planet gaia g-a-i-a -A, is how you spell gaia it turns out that Gaia sent out a said distress signal to have hordes of volunteers from other planets come here to so-called help raise the vibratory rate of this planet, to help this planet ascend, to help teach people how to be better souls, so to speak. Well, and to also to help make this planet, you know, be cleaner and stuff. Now, here's a tidbit of some interesting information. So the Industrial Revolution began in the late 1700s, and a lot of it really started to kick off in 1800s, 1900s, and, you know, and it was more, I think it actually might have been in the 1800s. But anyway, tech, tech, a lot of the modern technology started to really kick in in the 1700s, and it's all ongoing at an increasingly rapid rate for new technologies. 
Okay. Now, going back and thinking, starseeds like Nikola Tesla, who was actually an Anubis incarnation, thus would explain the oscillator looking like an Egyptian Ankh and things like that, and his beliefs and obsessions with the Egyptian pyramids, and some other interesting things about Nikola Tesla that you should read about. Nikola Tesla's vision of having clean, ener clean, free energy for everybody, free electricity, free everything, was of course turned down and rejected in favor of Thomas Edison's version of the light bulb providing electricity that runs on coal, the dirty energy, the same stuff that is why we have burning coal mines. Like, I think there's like 38 in Pennsylvania that have been going on burning for 60 years or longer than that or something like that. And then Burning Mountain, I believe is what it's called in Australia, that's been burning for 6,000 years. Not, not related to the Industrial Revolution quite, but it does go to show that coal is just bad news bears. And we should have done Nikola Tesla's method of, of electricity, okay? So that's the first sign of trouble for this planet. Now, anyone who has taken an ecology class, environmental science, and things like that, they know about things like what, lead poisoning. They know about things like all of the chemical spills that are happening in our waters. Um, our pharmaceuticals are screwing with, you know, marine life like for example birth control pills the hormones and those are actually impacting the way marine life behaves because it's giving them hormones and it's changing changing their hormones and possibly even our own as well along amongst a whole bunch of other stuff that's in our food and water supply okay most people could say that our water and food supply is tainted with all kinds of stuff all kinds of chem uh, bad chemicals bad chemicals you know the stuff when people talk about chemicals they think of like you know the, the toxins like lead mercury um uranium they talk about the toxic stuff is when when they're talking about chemicals okay so mm -hmm. get, get that out of the way as well so with that being said we all know that this planet has a whole mountain of trash sitting in the Pacific Ocean and, and it keeps getting bigger and bigger. And people are also aware of, the, of our rainforests being depleted of their trees, deforestation at, at, at an alarming rate. Animal species are going extinct at an alarming rate. We have done so much damage to this planet and a matter of like 200 some odd years because of our technology the chemicals that we use on our skin our makeup and yes I'm wearing makeup the same toxic stuff that we're talking about here right now um, you know everything we use one way or another cars nail polish Makeup, household cleaners, bedroom sheets, curtains, our furniture parts, pretty much everything built in our homes has had some detrimental environmental impact. I watched a video that talked about how long it's going to take for planet Earth to heal. With our absolute absence, and the absolute absence of human life, at the time that video was made, it was like 10,000 years for this planet to completely heal from the damage we have done in a matter of a couple hundred years. 
we look at the Great Barrier Reef, the so-called bleaching and whatever that's been happening here and there from apparently warm waters. It's not just that. It's also from the chemicals found in sunscreens. That is why some of the Great Barrier Reef is starting to die. The, only the one of the biggest organisms on this entire planet is starting to die thanks to us. To, thanks to humans. Okay, now... In short, physically, this planet is very much poisoned. And we've done a whole lot of damage to it in a matter of 200 some odd years. And I don't see us changing to clean energy quick enough. And just based on that, what I saw in that video, 10,000 years, I mean, I'm hearing my guides from through my divination tell me it's going to take a whole lot longer than humans realize because we probably don't even know the full impact of what our technology has done. Fossil fuels, emissions in the atmosphere. I don't think we know the full extent of just how bad we you, mankind has damaged this planet with pollution and everything. So, now, the said waves of star seas goes back to like the 60s, 70s, 90s, you know, way, the, the way, the hordes of wave, the waves of volunteers started after World War II. What was the big distress signal that got the attention of extraterrestrials was as in was said in one of the species movies i think it was the first one yeah i believe it was the first one what caught et's attention it might have been in the third one actually too anywho it was mentioned in one of those species movies the atomic bombs because the the huge impact that it's had on the planet and how loud it was and the damage that atomic bombs did could have, anybody from outer space probably could have seen the atomic bombs go off. And that said, and then the distress signal followed from Gaia that I need help. And, it, and coincidentally, following World War II, make love, not war. And then the whole hippie movement started to come in, you know, like love, peace, and caring about the planet, worshipping the planet, things like that. All a big fat nudge from Gaia on a, col on a collective level. Some people responded to it, others did not. Or they just, you know, they either followed or they didn't follow it. Either way, it became very noticeable on a large scale that some that people got the message from God to, you know, worship the planet more. And then interestingly, that's when a lot of these said star seeds and such started coming and people were talking about things like Project Earth, this is the third Earth, and other things have been floating around here and there for a good while, and it's especially been prominent ever since the internet came about. And there's there are some books and things like that out there on this, but Unfortunately, I did find out Gaia was named Gaia to mock Maya, M-A-I-A, -A, who, which, which as many of you probably know, Maya is one of the seven said sisters of the Pleiades and is one of the said seven main seven st stars in the Pleiades star cluster. Gaia is a daughter of Satan and Medusa. Okay, so some background information on that. So Medusa is the woman that has the hair of snakes and, you know, was once a beautiful woman, a said priestess for Athena in ancient Greek times. And Athena turned her into the demon that she is after she apparently consorted with Poseidon or and said she was raped, wanted help, and Athena turned her into Medusa as apparently punishment for it. And was disgusted. So, with that being said, 
Medusa, and Satan made Gaia. Gaia was the conscience of this planet. Now, a lot of people have probably heard of the 2012 connection to the Mayan calendar ending and whatnot. Um, and people believe that the end of the world was scheduled to happen in 2012 because of it. It was a big thing 10 years ago. And we're all still here, of course. It was not a literal death. And unfortunately, a lot of people believe that this was when Gaia, the planet, had a big ascension. And people are starting to get flu-like symptoms randomly and things like that as a result of the ascension. No, that's not true, okay? You know, go get medically tested for COVID or whatever if you have those kind of symptoms. Or just stay home and rest, what, whatever. I can't make you do anything you don't want to do. But anywho, my point is, what really happened around that time period, and it was before 2012, by the way, it was actually in 2011, is when Gaia left. She, she abandoned ship. Okay, she is no longer the conscience of this planet. Essentially, the distress signal, okay, the distress signal that she sent out was a trap. This trap was essentially trying to get more good souls to be stuck on this planet pretty much for dinner for the demons and yes they do physically exist too i mean if you think about things like the rake um wendigo um all those supernatural guys like bigfoot and all of them are different form demons looking different in different forms i don't know if you've seen seen Jeepers Creepers or not, the Jeepers Creepers movies, the, the Creeper, the winged bat from hell, is what Satan looks like. Now, a little bit of a quick story here. Um, I actually was lost in the woods years and years ago when I was in middle school. I'm 31 years old now, so I believe I was about 13 years old at the time. Got lost in the woods. Um, we were hiking and I got tired. I sat down, you know. And I thought that they were just about to go right to the top real quick and come back down real quick. And, you know. They were gone for a while and I thought I would go to walk myself back to the cabin. Well, no. A lot of weird things happened that day. And I saw a lot of really strange things that day. Along, along with many other days I've seen weird stuff, but I came across a cave in the Pennsylvanian mountains is where I was. I came across a cave and I got this really awful sense of dread at, when I was close to this cave. I walked fast from it and then As I started walking away, I heard a rattle, like a rattlesnake was right by my foot. And weirdly enough, I did not get bit, but I knew it was like right next to me because I saw a little bit of the slither and like right by me. And I was like, shit, I better run. <laughs> Anywho, anyways, um, yeah, at one point, like everything was just really quiet. Like before I like, what? Came across a cave and whatever i saw something really weird in the woods and i thought it was a bear at first but it was just eerily quiet like i didn't see anybody else even though like a few minutes ago i saw like several people climbing up the mountain and whatever i thought it was a bear it's like no no that was an illusion because that was actually a demon that was walking by. Okay, people, you can laugh at me and whatever, whatever you 
want to believe. And then when I came across that cave, when I was walking by the creek, got a really bad sense of dread that something was there. And was in there, and I was just hoping I would walk in or whatever. And I walked away. I think somebody was pretty disappointed that day. Anyway, so I did see some what else, a third individual. I came across a dead zone in the woods. Like, not as there's not a spring of grass, not a single green leaf, not a single insect, not a single animal, absolutely nothing. It was just completely dead in this little opening in the woods. And then right in the middle was a black hooded figure. The Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper. Now, the third individual, the said Grim Reaper was apparently one of the forms that Hades appears in the field will, will appear as the Grim Reaper Hades the Greek deity of the underworld now what's interesting is that Satan is apparently quite terrified of Hades Hades came to me and he did tell me that one of the reasons why he chose to go in the field that day, in the, that little field in the woods, that little opening, was because he knew Satan was around. He also knew that his assistant was around, which is who I thought was the bear. Demons are actually afraid of Hades. Now, I have seen Hades physically appear in other ways, and I, and three other people I know actually have seen him too. With this being said, the new, the conscience of this planet is not Gaia, it's Hades. Hades is the conscience of this planet because this is the planet where all evil souls will die. Now, to make a now to be clear, people that there not all souls here right now are evil. However, there will be a day where and it's apparently is coming up soon where good souls are going to stop incarnating here. And the biggest reason why I'm making this video now is because I want the good souls here right now to wake up and understand that they are here on a fake mission to raise the vibratory rate of this planet to help make this planet a better place. And as I said er earlier about like all the poisoning of this planet with the atmosphere, the water, the trash everywhere. Um, our pharmaceuticals, our food supply, water supply, pretty much all of it is going to have something bad. I mean, a lot of the said clean water that you think, no, there's, there's measurements. It's kind of more about how much of something bad can be in this water before it's declared dangerous. I mean, shouldn't we want water that has absolutely not a touch of lead, not a touch of any of these things nope it's the same thing with like food part food and stuff too i mean there's like a certain limitation as to how much bullshit as i'm gonna call it can be in our food and water and spices herbs or whatever it's bullshit like you know they're like they'll find like like you will if you see like a like a little bit of an insect inside of your um herbs or spices or whatever it could have been seen you know when the, someone was going through it or like you know like a really small like insect leg or something Who, whoever processed that food you know like there it's like there's a there's a set cap as to how much of that 
bullshit can be found in your food and whatever. It's like, hey, excuse me. I don't want, I want my food to be completely clean of anything that can be dirt seen as bad for me. But that that's just, you know, a very, this is that's just a very generic statement. You know, I don't want to get into the nitty gritty because that's not the point of this video. Um, so we cannot possibly logically be here to make this world a better place because quite frankly we came in hordes when it was too fucking late okay this planet is in order to really heal this planet based on the information i'm getting and looking at the condition of things and how where we're going with technology like every like we're, we're making more waste not less if you haven't noticed with our appliances going out quicker um Cell phones going out quicker, or laptops, computer parts. It's getting worse, not better, unfortunately. Now, if you want to believe that you're here to make the world a better place, I guess go ahead and be my guest. But honestly, a lot of us are here suffering with poverty, suffering from job, unemployment, depression, other mental illnesses, physical ailments, Good souls are unnecessarily suffering from these things because we were lied to about this planet needing our help. I mean, God knew that this planet was dying. Come on. Like, she freaking bounced in, like, in 2011. That's how bad this planet is. That's how bad the condition of this planet is. And, and actually, I've been getting from my divination readings, I think I mentioned earlier in this video, this planet would actually take a lot longer than 10,000 years to complete to heal completely. And that's with our absolute absence. Like, if we were to be obliterated today and not a single said human was on this planet, that's how long it would take. And everything ceased. You know, if everything stopped being as it was. Yeah, you know, the whole COVID shutdowns may have helped some, but everything just went... As soon as, you know, everyone... Things started come, getting back open and everything... That didn't do much. That didn't do anything, really. I mean, it did bring go to show that we are very much polluting the, this planet. But honestly... By the time we all came in hordes, there, there was just no way, physically alone, that this planet was going to heal. Now, so, with all of this being said, so, the planet is doomed to die at a very fast rate with how many species are dying every day and how many species are completely just becoming extinct at a rate we've never seen before and all of these other things physically and then just looking at the world generally speaking I feel like we're actually starting to see people become more greedy there's no sense of community anymore I just do not understand how come People can still believe we are here to make this world a better place. It's like, hey, listen, this world is not going to get any better, okay? It's not, we're not here to make this world a better place because quite frankly, we are too late. And Gaia knows it. And it was a trap to bring as many souls here as possible for, for demonic beings. Now... I did also find out on an interesting note that all of the good souls on this planet are actually not considered to be human souls. Okay. The evil souls on this planet are considered to be human souls and demon souls. All of the good souls, good higher selves that are here are different species entirely incarnated as physical humans but we're, our soul astral bodies are not human if that makes sense like we got reptilians who are here which is a whole different ball game uh by the way some of the people that are saying reptilians are really bad and stuff and are ruling the government please if the reptilians were ruling 
this government, we wouldn't have half of these problems. Actually, really, like, any of them. Um, but that's, that's a whole different th topic right there. Um, the reptilians, we got the greys, we got, we got fey, we got deities, that we got other ET races that are non-carnivorous, so we don't have feline species. We don't have any of those ET species that are said carni carnivores. Okay? The feline species that people think that they're seeing are actually demons, too. Hate to say it, but one of the reasons why they let websites like starseeds.net and a whole bunch of those other starseeds websites go down is because there's a bunch of bad information being spread around. They're like, nope, can't have this. And, you know, one thing led to another to make these websites become obliterated. Now, so what do we do with this information? Well, this is the part where I'm going to tell you, don't fall for the whole money grab. Don't fall for the whole survival of the fittest. Don't fall for that stuff. I say, live life as happy as you can without stressing yourself out about the condition of the world because quite frankly, we all know that it's a shithole here. We all know that this world is not a good place to be. It's, it's not. We know that the planet is being destroyed physically by our te technologies that, you know, we pretty much cannot, it's impossible to avoid. And frankly, just live life the best you can with what you have. Don't fall for the money grab. Don't fall for the ways of the bet of the evil people in this world and the people that are just so selfish and greedy and just don't care. Don't fall for that mindset. Don't become, don't get lost and lose yourselves in this world. Do what you need to do. Connect with your gods. Figure out what you need to do to finish your business here and then after you die in this incarnation don't come back go back home because this planet one day is gonna one day soon all these good star seeds and such are gonna stop coming in all these good souls are gonna stop incarnating because all good souls are to bounce from this planet and just let the evil destroy itself. Now, I know this was a bit of a doomsday scenario sounding video, but this is just a reality check, really. I mean, it's a beautiful planet. It's really, it's a shame that I'm saying all of this, but this planet, I'm sorry, you guys, but we were lied to, okay? Us, the good souls, the people that vo do volunteer work, that do charity work, that genuinely want to be good souls and help people out and have a sense of community back. And, you know, people that genuinely want to help others and be kind and not be selfish and trying to be malicious and hurting people just to get to the top and to provide for your families or whatever bullshit excuse you have for screwing others over. Or just generally not caring and helping other people out either. Or seeing evil and doing nothing about it. Kind of deal. Um, it's a shame. But unfortunately. There's good and evil. And uh, unfortunately. For, for those that are good souls. I'm sorry but. We came here. And we were lied to, and it was just, it was a trap. And I'm telling you all right now that after you are do your thing in this lifetime, pack your bags and leave, and go back to where you came from. A lot of people probably won't believe that they're star seeds. May never ever find out they are star seeds. 
or that they're not a human soul, and that's okay. If you're a good person, do your thing, live your life the best you can, bounce. Let the evil destroy itself here because we were lied to. We don't belong here and we can feel it and we're suffering unnecessarily because of it. <sighs> Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I hope that you found it a little enlightening or, you know, kind of gave you some relief like, hey, you know what? I have permission to not stress myself out about the way of the world because frankly, there's not a whole lot on an individual level we can do. We've had many souls come go that tried to make the world a better place. We had Christ, we had Buddha, we had Mother Teresa is a controversial one because, you know, she kind of tried to tell people to, you know, suck up being sick or whatever. And I don't really think that was good, but we've had a lot of good souls come and go trying to make this world a better place and every single one of them failed at doing that. So keep that in mind. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you found it at least interesting. Um, thank you for thank you for watching this video, and uh, have a good one.